next thing I want to go to is I want to talk briefly about grips. Grips, like everything else you do, are very important. And there's two basic grips that are used in, in softball and baseball right now. You have your traditional grip, which basically is you have both your hands in the bat. The key to these things always are you have to line up your middle knuckles. Whether you use a traditional grip or use a finger grip, you want to make sure that your middle knuckles are aligned in either grip. And the key is you're still holding the bat more in the joints of your fingers and not so much back in the palm of your hand. Wrapping the fingers around. <clears throat> knuckles, again, the middle knuckles are lying straight up and down. Okay, that's your traditional grip of a bat. It's called the finger grip. And it's more, more like a golf grip. Okay, Carla, go ahead and bring the bat down and lay it in front of you. First, start with your left hand, and you want to take it and lay it across your palm. Notice that Carla has the knob of the bat up the upper corner of the palm of her hand. Now, once she lays in the middle of her palm like that, she's going to wrap her fingers around the bat at an angle. Now, notice, after she wrapped, now she turned and she formed a V at the top with the thumb and her, and her pointing finger. Now, we'll, we'll take her right hand, and she'll stick the corner of her heel of her hand in that, in that V. She places it right in the V and wraps the fingers around, okay, and wraps her thumb around. Now she'll bring the bat up, align her middle knuckles, make sure they're straight, get the bat position where it feels good, and this is called the finger grip, the finger grip. Now this grip we use at the university rather than using a traditional grip for two main reasons. Number one, with a finger grip, you have the bat more out in the fingers than you do in the palm of your hands. And think about it. When you use your fingers more, you have more dexterity, so you have more control. Think about using a pencil. When you use a pencil, you have a pencil out in your fingers. You don't have it back in your palm when you write because you have more dexterity, you have more control of the pencil. Same reason, it gives you more control of the bat. The second reason we use a finger grip is it, you cover more surface on the bat. So it's just like choking up. So if Carla would go to a traditional grip right now, she'd have about a two inch choke. She goes back down to the finger grip. Very good, Carla. Now she's still down at the base of the bat, but it's just like having a two inch choke. But since she's down at the base of the bat, she still has the same extension of the bat, so she'll still get the same force generated if she had her hands all the way down to the end of the bat. So that's one of the, the most positive things that I know about using the finger grip. Okay, now the last point I really want to make today about the grip is probably the most common error that is made by the young athlete is that they over rotate their knuckles. They take with their top hand, they take their middle knuckles and they over rotate it with their bottom knuckles and they align it like this. And this is a serious mistake. And the reason for that is, is when they swing the bat with their knuckles aligned like that, it automatically forces them to rotate underneath. They rotate their wrist underneath. And if you notice, your wrist doesn't move in that direction. Now, the proper technique you want is you want to snap the bat through and rotate your wrist over the top, all right? When your knuckles are not aligned in the middle, it's very difficult to do that. So you want to make sure that your knuckles are aligned so you get this snapping motion through the ball. 